All right, so a lot of you know that I don't promote training aids here in this program. I don't get anything for promoting this training aid, but I'm always uh, looking for ways as an instructor, and this is why I bought this tool, to um, find things that supplement the feeling, right? So I use training aids not to go, this is how the swing works. I use training aids to take what a player understands, like many of you are uh, working through the program, you're trying to help your players understand more lag, which is the opposite of drag, right? And your players are getting a good, a good understanding of that, okay? One of the things that we can't guarantee, right, and this is why I got this product, is I don't know if players are always feeling what we need them to feel. So in other words, you can look pretty good on video, Believe me, I've learned this over the years. You can look pretty good on video and not really understand the feeling that, that really is going to maximize your potential, right? And so I know that a product like this, right, is going to give the player the supplemental feeling that I need. So basically, it probably speaks for itself, but this is a towel bat, right? And there's a little uh, towel on the end of it. And basically, we're trying to get players to feel the whoosh and the snap of the towel out front a little bit here, Okay. And if you're hearing a whoosh and all of that back here behind you, you're probably not experiencing lag. And this forces a player into that window. You don't have to talk to a player about mechanics. You can talk to the human and say, hey, I want you to take that stick with the towel on it, and I need that whooshing sound to happen out here and not behind you. You can guarantee that a player is, for, for the most part, they're going to move the bat correctly in order to accomplish that. Okay? So I like that that part of it, that you don't have to be a hitting instructor to go, all right, this is what your, your elbows should do to make this happen. No, it's, it, if you're going to make that, the human being can make that happen on their own. They don't, have, they don't have to know the mechanics of making a towel snap out front. Now, this is really, you know, that's number one why I bought the product, because I wanted to make sure that players were really understanding lag, right? I wanted them to know, know what that feeling was. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because of something I've learned and I'm learning about this product that um, is, I think can be really helpful. So the, my target age group in the uh, Fundamental Perfection program is usually is somewhere around 10 to 12 years old, right? And I, of course, I work with a lot of 8-year-olds and 9-year-olds but and, and even 13 and 14-year-olds in the program. But the target group is usually around 10 to 12, and that's a very important stage fundamentally you want to get things locked in at that point as you go and get ready to go to the big diamond you don't want to get to the big diamond you've skipped certain things fundamentally there's problems with that so so that's my that's my basically my target group okay so people in this age group are always asking the same question for good reason i want my player to have more pop you have any drills for more power and these sort of things and, you know, I try to tell people I'm a little bit more patient when it comes to development uh, just because I'm around it all the time. Uh, but when puberty comes, everybody's naturally going to get a boost, right? When you go to the big diamond um, and everybody's getting a little bigger and stronger, your kid gets hair in his armpits and uh, starts growing a little mustache, uh, it, it, the, the fast twitch muscles are a little fat, you're, def you're definitely going to get a little bit more pop. But the real capacity for power comes after puberty and you spent some time working on getting stronger, quicker, right? And, and that's in the weight room, okay? And so we know that high school players, in good high schools anyways, in the off season, they're going to be probably spending three, at least three days a week in the weight room, okay? Coaches do that for a really good reason. You want athletes to get bigger and stronger and faster and quicker and all that stuff, right? We can't put our 10 to 12-year-olds under a squat rack, Right? And now some of you probably your personal trainers and you say, well, if you do it the right way, and I'm, I'm sure there's a, a good way of doing it. But generally speaking, most of us aren't going to put our 10 to 12 year olds in a weight room where uh, growth plate issues that we have to be careful of. And if we're not a professional in those environments, we run the risk of hurting our kids. <clears throat> right. So it's the practical strength that I want to talk to you about that. I think that, you know, you can't maybe you're not going to take your kid to a weight room, but the resistance this towel back creates as you're trying to you know get that the towel to snap through the wind here, it works on the practical strength mechanisms. I don't even know if that's the right way to say that. But muscle groups you're really going to use, right, that you need when you're hitting, you're going to be using these when you're moving this towel. And there is some resistance, quite a bit of resistance actually, right? And so 
This tool, besides pointing as a, as a supplement towards understanding lag, right? <clears throat> it could be a great tool for those of you that are patient and you say, hey, you know, three times a week we're going to go into uh, the garage or somewhere and take 25 to 50 dry cuts with this thing. I mean, you're literally, and you're working on, you know, getting the snap to happen in a certain spot. You're going to be, at the same time, working that player out, giving them, the, again, practical strength training, things that they're actually going to use. So, for instance, you could just, is easy, you could give them a heavy bat. Uh, you could put a donut on a bat, a donut on a bat. But anybody that's been a 20, 10 to 12 age uh, game, you watch kids on deck, and they put a heavy thing. Now, there's no doubt that once they kick the donut off their bat, the bat feels lighter, right? But typically, they're not doing anything that's going to promote <laughs> a better feeling. <clears throat> they're always just uh, making their bat lighter. That's it. So that's useful. But this tool, it reinforces that they have to use the proper muscle groups to create the lag. Every rep, if I'm, doing, if I'm trying to feel that snap out front, Every rep not only creates resistance for me, but it also promotes the right feeling, right? And I'm going to build strength in that area. So you could <coughs> literally make a, a workout program without putting your kid in the weight room of, you know, working on, you know, three times a week, going out and swinging this. And if you want to make it fun, just taking dry cuts is not very much fun. Uh, I've, you know, I've heard of people throwing tennis balls. I think Craig Wallenbrock talks about it, throwing tennis balls to players and letting them hit with this. Um, I tend to do... <coughs> little flips from the side or a drop drill that I do where I'm basically on top of the player and they're using this but having them hit little wiffle balls big wiffle balls and the thing you can't get caught up in and I'm sure players could get better at this but you don't want to make the goal in a when you're hitting balls with a towel have their quality of contact it doesn't even make sense because you're not going to go to the plate and hit balls with a towel right what we're just trying to do is exercise the movement and I think putting a ball in the way uh, breaks the monotony uh, I don't want to reinforce. This is how you're, you know, this is how you're going to hit with a towel when you go to the play, because <laughs> that's not really what we're going to do. So I, I just wanted to share this with you. And again, I don't get anything for sharing this idea or this tool. All right, let me know if you have any questions.